Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chicken. You notice that we're over here by the fireplace. We're just warming up for Sundance, for our travel suite at the Sundance Film Festival. I know. See, where does that take you to? Think of all the places you'd love to be in this world. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> we have a California fireplace. Which, which means, folks, there, there's no real fire back there. That's uh, it's an electric fireplace, which means it, it glows and it provides no heat whatsoever. I thought it looks good. It looks good, yeah. Oh, but God, imagine how much money. Okay, it goes nowhere up there. It's, I guess that's, just, that's a wall. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, God, it really is all over for the Republicans. The Republicans are resigning their seats in Congress because of Boynton-Bainyard because they said that... Oh, they're they, resigning? They're resigning seats in Congress. And, uh, they, they shouldn't resign, they should just get Boehner out of there. Well, no, they're resigning and taking positions to, to build a new party. Oh. They have decided that they're going to kick the asses of these people all out of office and they're going to form a brand new party now. Because the Republican Party has decided to cave in to all of the higher taxes. I mean, uh, last night, no less than um, Ann Coulter said, the Republicans have, got, uh, have made such a mess of things that in order to keep the people happy, they're going to have to tax, they're going to have to give the taxes on the people that's going to hurt the businesses and not going to do anything. And basically, well, she got chewed up by the people on the right because they said, well, she, it's just the way it is. He said, you people made a mess of it. He said, you lost an election that a dead guy could have won. Mm -hmm. Said there was no way on earth. They said that what, about what the president did, he got the 47% that pay no federal income taxes at all. And he, she said flat out, he said, well, they had a, an African-American with her. He said, he said, since this president took office, the unemployment rate has never been higher for black Americans, even in the Jim Crow days. He said, never have as many black Americans been on welfare and social programs as there are under this president. Mm -hmm. They said that... Uh, he said that he got that by promising Afro-Americans that they could have the sun and the moon and the sky above. He said he's got to tax the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. He said if you you're going to have to pay a fee to get food stamps soon, folks. Oh. I know. There's the Montavia. She. I know. Her. She's overseeing everything. Know, she well, she needs to make certain. She knows I have flea in my hand, and she basically. Flea is the main member of her family. No, it's because Bentley is sitting next to you. Oh, I know Bentley. Bentley is basically, we're, we're, we're conflicted. Bentley is supposed to be a Christmas gift. But unfortunately, Bentley serves many purposes. I life. know. <laughs> and Judge removed in Fort Hood shooting Rampage case. Yeah, because he was bending, he's an Obama appointee. He was bending over backwards to make certain that uh, that the guy in the Fort Hood case, the major, could basically attack the United States on the stand. Mm. And this is what they have been worried about. Uh, but see, Obama wants the Muslims to attack our country. That, they, they did a, state, a deal of the most powerful leaders in the world. Obama didn't make the top 20 this time. Oh, that is how that's bad. not good because the U.S. president should always be like in the we top should, five. We're never out of the top five, ever. And basically it's the first time <laughs> Since they started taking the poll, American president has never been out of the top 20. Because they, they said the man is incompetent, he leads from behind, which means he doesn't lead at all. And he basically, you know, they, they said, uh, the whole Muslim world is in a Okay, all the problems that are happening in Cairo right now, the dead people are all on his hands and no one else's. And it's about, they, they said they're wanting to uh, bring him up on trial. I said, if. The Wait, what? The, Why? It, because the, they said if the government falls in Egypt and the people that want democracy take over, they're going to charge Barack Obama as a co-conspirator for the death of those people because he oh. supported the Muslims that, try, that are taking over the country. Oh, and in fact, the military, the, the same military that put him in power is, uh, and got rid of Mubarak is now shooting the people that helped elect Morrissey. Morrissey lied to the people. I got, I got off myself. Well, they're going to rise up, but they're not going to stand for what he's doing. Well, he's already fled the country, which means that's how scared he is that he made. He, went, he said he, he took that proverbial, you know, he crossed the Rubicon, as they say in Roman terms, because when he decided to seize total control of the country, that went too far. He, mm -hmm. They figured that he was going to wait until after Obama had been president for a year or so before he did it. No, he got emboldened by Obama. 
and Obama, Republicans must raise rates to create revenue. It won't create <laughs> revenue. He's, um, he's basically not going to cut spending. If you're not going to cut spending and you raise the rates, it's not even going to cover his spending. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. He will still, with the Republican, okay, the Republican, the rates are going to contribute $80 billion a year to, to uh, the budget, and the spending is going to be a trillion and a half dollars deficit because, well, we're going to, we've got, well, the offer to Boehner, which Boehner is going to accept, is that we give you $3 in, in spending for every $1 we cut. Mm -hmm. And they're not cutting any money either. And California sea smuggling claims Coast Guard life. I know. It's, a, uh, it's just it's getting dangerous to be a, an officer of the law. I mean, I, my father was lucky. My father was a my father was basically a rent a cop with the Los Angeles Police Department. But he he and his uh, partner on motorcycles in 30 years in the reserve never once pulled a gun. Never. Really? They never. They never they, because they, they they had no reason to because it was a different era then. People didn't shoot police officers. Um, Unless you were a bad police, okay, what happened if you were a bad police officer, they, they shot at you. They generally didn't miss. And SEC charges China affiliates of top accounting firms. Yeah, and that's, um, Obama is trying to make it look good uh, with China, which, uh, that he's getting tough with China, and China is basically conceding. Uh, Apple is going to bring business back to the United States. Uh, the four dollar an hour stuff they're paying the Chinese to do, they're going to bring back to this country. And like the guy said, <coughs> Flea will tell you, Flea, what is the upper chances that people are going to take a, a minimum wage job with Apple? Uh oh, he didn't even have his voice Four dollars an hour is below minimum they're wage. They're not going to take it, but that's minimum wage, that's the wage that full pay in China. They will not, they'll pay minimum wage to do the work for Apple computer and they won't be able, the one guy, they were laughing this morning, well, they're talking about creating 50,000 minimum wage jobs. No, that's not going to happen, folks. It never will happen. But that's Obama throwing, Obama threw Apple, who supported him, under the wheels of his bus now that he no longer needs them. He's, he's president for life now, folks. And Marine Special Operations team members honored. Well, I they know. They're they trying to make a big deal out of it. They did their job. They got Navy crosses, and that's generally what happens if you do your job. Yet, most of the time, you don't. You don't survive. I mean, of my father's unit in World War II, which was headquarters, headquarters, and headquarters for the Third Army, my father, basically every single uh, commander in my father's unit was killed but him, and he came back. Well, actually, the JC knows what my, fa what my, my father was tall, but basically 5'9", red-headed, 180 pounds, and after the war, he, he lost most of his hair, severely damaged legs, and never got over 140 pounds <coughs> the rest of his life. Hmm. And Republicans already announcing U.S. Senate campaigns for 2014. Yeah, they're, um, they're planning to take the Senate in 2014, but they're planning to take the Senate. They're, uh, they should have taken it now. They could have taken it now. They've lost it twice, not because of Tea Party people, but because the Republicans refused to... Okay. The way they can win elections is we have to we have to go after those people that wouldn't vote for us if hell froze over. They, it, they, okay, they, they, here's the thing: they're doing a thing with Ed Ashner about really a left wing. Let me remember the Socialist Democrats for America. You know what the difference between diehard Democrats and diehard Republicans are? What's that? The Democrats will not change their position. The Republicans think, well, if we had changed our positions and became Democrats, we'd have won the Republican seat. No, because the, the people they need to elect them won't work that way. The Republican Party has always been a fiscal conservative, and now they want to become fiscal liberals in order to win the votes. It's not going to happen. Well, they lose their base, and they're not going to... Okay, you name me... Okay, uh, would, would um, Matt Damon vote for a liberal Republican if he had a liberal <laughs> Yeah, Democrat? not on your life. Would George Clooney vote for a liberal Republican if he had a liberal Democrat running? Yeah. That's not going to happen. They're not going to get Latino voters. They're not going to get Afro-American voters. And it's not going to happen. And former President George H.W. Bush, stable in hospital. Well, yeah, I think he's 92 years old. And he, he basically, just, there's nothing, he, he can't walk anymore. He's, he's, on, he's on his last legs. That's why uh, Junior is now becoming more public again. 
because he oh becomes, he's been there watching his dad <clears throat> so he has to tell he has to do talking all the time now which he hasn't wanted to do since obama became president but <clears throat> he did say i understand that i'm being blamed for the going over the cliff now <laughs> yeah, yeah. and i said well, what he said folks I'm not president, and I haven't been president for four years. But yeah. uh, <coughs> Obama has a blame. They said, "Who do you think is responsible? Most responsible for the going over the fiscal cliff? It's 53 percent George Bush, uh, 43 percent uh, the Republican Party, and 10 percent Barack Obama." Well, you know, see, part of it is that line of thought has been working yeah, for him. 53, 43. I know. That happens to be 90. It's like how does somebody add, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, was, it was done by a Democratic pollster. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, actually, tomorrow always comes. <laughs>